today and I'll be making this picture frame quilt block. And when I measure it out, it'll measure at 12 and a half inches square completed and then it will finish in your quilt project at 12 inches square. And you may recognize this, it's kind of a cousin of the churn dash quilt block, except it has a larger center. And that's really nice if you have a large print fabric you want to showcase in your quilt, or you have something you'd like to fussy cut for the center. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make it. The block consists of three fabrics. I use the focus fabric in the center. It's a large square and then two coordinating fabrics. And out of that, you'll cut your rectangles four in each color. And then you'll also make four half square triangle patches. From the focus fabric, cut one eight and a half inch square. And from each of your accent fabrics, I have a light and a dark, you'll cut two three inch squares. And then you'll cut four rectangles, one and a half inches by eight and a half inches from each fabric. Use the three inch squares to make your half square triangles. And on your lighter color fabric, on the back, draw a diagonal line. I use just a fine point pen. Just use my ruler. And I like to use a smaller ruler here. Now place your light and dark three inch squares right sides together. I will take it to the machine and sew on each side of my drawn line a quarter of an inch on each side. I have my leader fabric, my quarter inch presser foot, and I'll feed my first pair right in. I'll snip these apart and I'll repeat that on the other side of my drawn line exactly like I did before. and cut apart on the drawn line. And you can see you now have two half square triangles. And repeat that on your other. And that completes the four that we need for this block. I'll be pressing these patches toward the dark fabric. So when you're doing that, just simply have your fabric, your darker fabric on top, set the seam, open it up, finger press, and then press. And that's pressing toward the dark fabric. And I'll repeat that on the other three patches. Now these need to be squared up to two and a half inches. And I've shown this on plenty of my videos, but if you haven't seen it, I'll repeat it here. I just line up my diagonal seam here with the diagonal line on my ruler. And what you want to do is make sure this is lined up and that you have a little bit more fabric beyond the two and a half inch mark on all four sides. And this looks good. So I'll cut this side and this side. And hopefully that went through. Yep. Now I'll turn it around and cut the other two sides. 
Same exact thing, line it up, except this time you wanna have the two and a half inch mark on your ruler line up exactly on the two sides of your patch and cut the final two sides. And you have a perfectly square two and a half inch half square triangle patch. And I'll repeat that squaring up off camera on my other three patches. Now I have all my patches in their right positions to get ready to sew the block together. And you'll notice I have all my dark rectangles closest to the center and then I have my half square triangles with the dark fabric pointing toward the center as well. The first thing I'll sew together are these rectangles. So I'll just place them right sides together and then I will take them to the sewing machine and I will sew a quarter inch seam allowance right along here. I have my pairs all sitting right next to my sewing machine and I'm actually going to sew these with a scant quarter inch seam allowance and on this machine I simply move my needle a thread's width to the right and just line up and I do want to mention that with these strips, you really want to make sure you square each strip up before you sew it together because you don't want any curve, which sometimes occurs when you're sewing strips together. So when you're cutting your strips, maybe overcut them a little and then trim them down to the one and a half by eight and a half. Just want to make sure I'm still lined up. Looks good. And I'll set my seam. Again, just like with the other patches, I'll press toward the dark so I have my darker fabric on top. Before I assemble the block with these units, I like to measure them and make sure they're accurate and they didn't get wonky in the sewing process. And so all I do is use my regular ruler and line up my seam line at the one and a quarter inch mark on my ruler. And of course at the eight and a half inch mark down here. And I just make sure that it's nice and straight. And if I would need to do any trimming, if it's a little why? Because I did use the scant quarter inch seam allowance, I would trim that now. But even with that seam allowance, it's, it's exactly the right size. Now that I have these strips sewn and made sure that they're nice and even, I have everything in its proper order. So I'll pin by row. So this center row right here, right sides together. And it's just a rough pin at this point to indicate which direction I want to be sewing. So I'm pinning from here, pointing in this direction. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'll actually turn it around and pin. And I'll move that aside. And the same thing here, right sides together. Pin indicating the direction that I want to sew. And the third. I've lined up my beginning sewing area right evenly. And then I also put a pin in the bottom, lined up my bottom edges, just to make sure everything's nice and even. 
and I'll turn them around. And off camera, I'll sew the other sides. And I have it in my pressing area. I'll be pressing these seams in the center toward my dark again. So I'll set that seam. Finger press. And the other side. And these seams, you just want to make sure you press in the opposite direction. So this seam is going in this direction. So this one we want to make sure is going in the opposite direction. Set the seam. And then I'll turn it around. So I'm pressing toward the center toward these strips here. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Turn it around and press toward the center of the block. And make sure you have your dark closer to the center. So now you have this seam allowance going this way and this one going in the opposite direction. So it'll be nice and easy to join those. Press toward the center. And if you can see on the back, it kind of lies nice and flat as well. Okay, now it's ready to join these three rows together. Right sides together. And here you'll wanna match up this seam. Give it a pin. And check my seams to make sure that they lined up. They look really good. I'll repeat that off camera with my final seam in the final press. And I'm just pressing away from the center here. And the final measure, 12 and a half inches square. There you have it, the picture frame quilt block. I just think this would make a beautiful quilt if you had a large print fabric. And I do want to mention one more time about these rectangles. They get very out of shape easily. So maybe cut them a little larger to begin with and then trim them down after you've joined them together. And you'll probably have really good results. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.